Well, good morning. It's uh, Bank Holiday Sunday, as they say, day after the King's coronation. It's overcast. It's not meant to rain today. So, it's vent fitting time. I've got my Sikaflex 522. I've got my mastic sealing strip to go around the edge first. I've got to find some screws, which go all the way around the edge. This is the uh, Fiama 40 by 40 skylight, which I'm putting in the back. Where I've got that hole there used to be a light. We had these LEDs in it. Uh, that'll be removed and that light there will be removed and moved somewhere else. Um, so that's where it's going, above the bed. I've got another skylight there, but because we haven't got any opening windows, these are all solid windows, I'm gonna have it just for ventilation so I can open that one that one we get a bit more through ventilation in here. These ones ventilate all the time because they're designed for caravans, which is handy for the winter if you store the motor home up, which we do. We uh, store it up in the winter on the front drive and we don't use it a lot. Uh, I do put a heater in there from time to time and open some of the windows just to allow ventilation, but this allows ventilation all the time. So this is what I'm doing today. I will uh, film as much of it as I can to show you how we do it. So first job to do is, and I can see it anyway, to make sure we've got from that solar panel backwards 400, which we have got these ribs to contend with once I've cut through them I have to build up the tape in between here and around the edges and then the Sikaflex so right that's fine up top let me get in, down inside and mark out exactly where we're putting her so I do have a jig I made for skylights which I'll show you in a minute this is the jig that I made which is a piece of wood, which is 400 by 400. So I've fitted quite a few of these skylights now. And you do need a little bit of wiggle room. You don't want them too tight on the top. So I've made that, and basically that will be placed inside and cut out first. Then I'll drill four holes in the four corners, through the roof, through here, but through the roof there, through the metal. And that'll give me my lines at the top where to cut and then just mark them up with a, a rule and a pencil or a black marker and then cut them out with the jigsaw or the grinder right I'm reading the instructions this one <coughs> excuse me the outside is 400 by 400 but the inside is 390 by 390 so there's a little bit too much room to use my jig so I'm using the box and I've marked here which I will cut out in a minute and that will give me my outside edge to where I've got to cut to and I'll cut the middle bit out then I'll have the edge to put up with some tape so I can work my way around where I've got to cut Right, I've got my outline there now, but I'm going to measure it again just to make sure it's in tolerance of 390 by 390. It gives you a 10 mil gap around the edge then to put your mastic strip and your uh, ticker flex. And there we go, there is the template that fits nicely around the outside. So we can offer that up, or we can offer this up. Stick it to the ceiling, drill our four holes so we know where we are, because that is a perfect fit over those corner bits as well. So that's what I'll be doing next. So there we have it marked out inside. I've gone along this edge, so we've only got a little bit of a cut to do this side. And it'll be cut along there, along there, and along there. I'm gonna cut this out first inside with my uh, multi-tool then I can drill the four corners with a bigger drill bit and go up on the roof mark those across square and then cut the bit out for the roof and 
up there as well there is this isn't the last of the insulation by the way this is the vapor barrier there's 25 mil underneath that as well up into the roof so it isn't this then just the roof so we've got about that much in there so right i shall get my multi-tool and i'll be back all right i'm not even sure if you can actually see what i'm doing but i've got this multi-tool which is noisy and it's got these teeth on the edge and basically i'm going around the edge of this to cut all the way around the edge i'm not going to film it all one it's noisy and two it's going to take ages but that's that's the gist of the job and there we have the hole cut in the roof the insulation cut and there is the roof and one thing i've just noticed that's going to need doing got a bit flattening about is this roof beam here the sealant's gone look it's flapping up and down so I'm going to fill that full of Sikaflex. This should help to hold it down as well. But uh, yeah, I'll fill that full of Sikaflex and uh, we'll go from there. Stop that flapping about. Right, I'm going to get the drill. And we now have one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes. I'm going to go up the top now, mark it on the roof, and cut it out with the grinder. Right, I've skipped on quite a long way. The skylight's in, I've cut the hole out with the grinder. I've, uh, oh, they get up top, mastic taped round the edge to cover in most of it. And I've got to screw it down. Once it's screwed down, I can then go around the edge with the Sikaflex. And there it is, all fitted on the roof. All Sikaflexed in along with the mastic strips and you cover over all the screw heads as well stop any water ingress here's the bit that I cut out from the roof that was the inside with the sound deadening on it that was a bit for the roof that'll be kept now just in case I get anything that needs welding I've got a sheet of metal there painted both sides ready to do any welding repairs on anything anytime I now have about four of those also hoovered the roof off as well because if you don't hoover the roof off you leave all the metal filings up there they all rust and they make all the top of your van look rusty and horrible and yeah it's not good it's not good anyway that was my little video of fitting the skylight that i got yesterday the rain has held off it's getting quite humid actually it's quite warm they reckoned about 21 degrees today through the clouds and it, i can feel the heat I'm starting to sweat a little bit so uh, anyway there it is video done um, please like, subscribe and all that stuff and uh, catch you in the next video. See you later.